Hey guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and still in the studio with me is Mike Fitzgerald and Richard King of St. Louis Family and Community Partnership. We've been talking about um, Child Prevention Awareness Month, and this month is um, the month for Child Prevention Awareness. Yes. There's a kickoff. Can you tell us a little bit about that kickoff again? Yes, the kickoff is April the 10th. It's at the Dennis and Judy Jones Recreation and Education Center in mm -hmm. Forest Park. And what we're trying to do is rally the community in, in uh, bringing attention to child abuse and neglect and also trying to get people to make a personal commitment to how they will help prevent child abuse and neglect in the community. Great. Now here we have some pictures from last year. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about these pictures? This was last year's uh, rally at City Hall and uh, we were given a proclamation by the Alderman who also serves on the uh, St. Louis Family and Community Partnership Board. Uh, we had a young speaker who spoke to us about his uh, experience uh, being an abused victim uh, in, the, in the system. And then we also had uh, artwork where we uh, demonstrate or show, really, the kids' art in some of the schools in the city. And they're awarded, uh, uh, they're given an award, some of them, first, second, and third prize. I think that's what you saw. And then, of course, we had uh, some fun activities for the children as they arrived uh, at the event. Mike, what are some of the success stories that comes from the partnership? Well, I think probably we can't take full responsibility for this, but over the last 10 years, uh, specifically in the city, and I, and I just want to remind the viewers that the St. Louis Family and Community Partnership is both St. Louis City and St. Louis County, so it's a, it's a regional partnership. Uh, started in the city, but then has evolved to also include the county. Um, but the volume, primarily based on the number of, of uh, uh, family support team meetings, some other legislation that we have helped pass, that the number of children who actually today are in the child welfare system and in the custody of the state of Missouri living in the city of St. Louis has almost been cut in half. Wow. And again, that's not completely by our doing, but it's also to show you that when 60 agencies get together right. to try to improve the system, that it's impactful. Are you guys looking for people to help and volunteer or um, anything with any of the partnerships or the organizations that you associate with, and how can they do that? Well, I'm certain that many of the organizations that are involved are always looking for volunteers to do a number of different things, and since we don't have numbers for all the agencies, I would certainly encourage individuals who know about child welfare agencies to simply call them and to find out if there's a way that they can volunteer to help in this particular area. Now, what are some of the ways as parents and as adults that we can help um, the situation. I, I would say the number one thing that parents or adults or neighbors or relatives can do is that if you feel a child is being hurt in his or her home, at school, on the playground, mm -hmm. to call the hotline. Um, it's completely anonymous. You do not have to give your name, but if there's the least amount of suspicion about neglect, children being left alone, um, physical abuse, sexual abuse, to call the hotline. Now we have some tips here that you guys have um, sent us and they'll be on the screen um, to ensure uh, there's safe children and uh, tips for parents to help keep their kids safe. Can you talk, to, talk through those with us? Well, spend time with your children. I mean, that's one of the absolute most important things to do. If your children are left alone, then you're not getting an, any idea of what's happening with them. But spend time with them. Find out where they are, what they're doing, and how well they're doing. Uh, hug them, embrace them, uh, provide them with as much care as you can, read to them, listen to what they have to say, be a good role model as well right. for all of them. And there are also some other tips just for adults to help keep kids safe and families strong. Right. Be a, be a mentor, be a good role model, uh, be a tutor for the children, help them with uh, other things such as you know their homework and what have you. Uh, volunteer to, uh, as we were talking earlier, to be uh, help for another children's agency and then donate money of course to help with uh, other okay. issues. I have, right. I have one other comment mm -hmm. about that in that if you're a parent earlier I was talking about talking or calling the hotline in case you see a, a child that's in trouble but if you as a parent or a caretaker feel overwhelmed uh, stressed out right. there are crisis hotlines you can call uh, St. Louis Crisis Nursery can help you, uh, United Ways Hotline can help you, um, Behavioral Health Response in the county, they can help you. Sometimes all it takes is a phone call to get you over that crisis. That's 
Great. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your information. You guys don't want to miss this kickoff. It's on Tuesday, April 10th from, at 10 a.m. Dennis and Judith Jones Education and Visitor Center in Forest Park. For more information, the number is on the screen. You guys remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. Next up, we have Jill Manoff. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.